Angelo Sanamoro, mate. Yeah. The cobbler of Little Italy himself. You want you want to do the full story or? Yeah, we'll have the full story. Start. Well, we want to know the full story. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's. Uh, I started when I was was about nine, ten years old. At that time, there was not enough work around the road. My father, my mother doesn't want me to stay on the street, and they sent me to have a teacher on making shoes. No pie. So when I was about 16, 17 years, I went, I went in Roma there. My uncle used to have like a, a small board, you know? Mm. And there used to be a four or five boys in the in, in room, each one there. One of them, he was a shoemaker. I used to have two brothers and a sister here already in Australia. My brother they find that they want, they're looking for a man in the factory, he used to call security shoes. My father wanted to put uh, us to get uh, all together again. They called it back the day, back in the day, right? Little Italy in New Farm, wasn't it? Because of um, yeah, all yeah, the Italians. Yeah, yeah even when here, the time I come in, there used to be Italian here. There used to be a three, three family there, a, a Spanish uh, there. That he was Italian. Across the road, corner was Italian. But at the time, I saw a lot of time the move, people move out. Yeah, but New Farm, I find very good spot to live, like my home. It is your home. Yeah, it is. It is. I'm getting used to it. On my age, if I had to move another suburb, the life is cut out. that many Italians around, there's no, still... No, uh, yes, they have the, Italian, the Italian club, that's the Amphat. It ran the club, there was no, no, no many. But that time, when Mr. Caruso was, was the president of the, the Amphat there, a lot of the old people used to go there, used to, used to go there dancing, they used to have a boccia, used to play boccia, but that, all the old people gone, because the new, new generation doesn't get that. They get, they get something else, that they got different type of life. <laughs> you enjoy the men or not? Ah, let me show you this guy here. This guy here, 102. Wow. 102. Uh, so, which one is uh, that one? From uh, Rupert. Rupert Macaulay. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, you are a true uh, legend. Uh, Angela, <laughs> thank you for you uh, uh, fix uh, my my boy's shoes. Oh, yeah, that, so that's his, that's that's his song. Yeah. So he's the uh, he's a poet, yes. isn't he? Yeah, Rupert Rup Macaulay. Rupert Macaulay. It's my, uh, myself and my wife, my sister, and my old brother. That, that's the one who passed away in 1993. Who's that kid there? That one. That one, it's only one photo, and I was, I was seven, seven or eight years old. They made the picture to send me to my father on the army, and there's no other photo around, just, just one. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they put the wig on, you know? Which one is that? That's uh, on the wedding when I met in 1967. I met my wife there, and they like one the other. She, she loved me that way. She said, we're going to Australia. Because I wasn't intent to come back here. And I said, that's, uh, we, we still got the house here. I said, back in Australia there. I said, stay a couple of years. We sell the house. We come back, we come back in Italy. We buy an apartment and we buy a shop. And the work I do, we're all right. But the things changed. A couple of years, and I got the first kid. Then I got the second kid. And, and I got the third kid. So that's, uh, I couldn't go anywhere. I said, what am I going to say? If I get back in Italy, with the kids, they, they, they got, it's my heart to myself to learn to speak English. Now, yeah. if a guy in Italy, that's my kid, they're going to start, they had the same thing I did, get my heart, 
to, to, to learn in Italian. And that's why I got to be all mixed up. So I said, where, are, where am I the life in Australia here? I've been back three or four times in Italy as well, anyway. That's, uh, that's in my parents. That's, uh, that's my old story was about. That's, uh, yeah. It was hard, anyway. Yeah. I'll be at the five in a couple of months. Uh, you gotta be, you gotta be involved with that. That's five o'clock in the morning. I got up, I got, I got, I got my walk every morning. I still read the pipe every Sunday. I gotta get the pipe, and I read it. But if I stop, you know, I'll go in the new suburb. I don't know anybody. That life is just like finish. I'm still get a lot of passion, passion for. You know, that's uh, I'm still a lover. That uh, if I get some job, it, it can't be done. I put everything in it. I, 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 know, I, I like to make everything. I mean, you've been doing my shoes ever since um, I was young, so. Yeah. I mean, me yeah. I'm a city boy. I'm not, I'm not a suburb boy. I always say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's my home. That's, that's it. Well, I'm very glad to call you my my granddad. That's all I'm saying. I'm very glad to call you my my nonno.